Uh, can you describe a bit more your uh, feelings for this derby? Uh, first of all, did you know about, did you he heard anything about the Stockholm derbies when you were in Denmark? Yeah, the Stockholm derbies are, are very famous. Um, that was one of the reasons I, I took this job, is to uh, have those uh, funny games. Um, first of all, we have some amazing fans. Uh, we saw that in the premiere against Kalmar, plus 30,000, great atmosphere. And now the Stockholm Derby, and um, these games are the kind of games you're living for as a coach and as a player, and we are really looking forward to the game. And uh, what is the feeling, what's growing in your body waiting in front of, of these games? I like the big games, um, demands a big place. Um, so we are really looking forward to the game. Uh, I can't wait to hear the crowd and get the action going. It's a local derby. A lot of tension, a lot of uh, fighting, so and hopefully also some good football play. It's a nice arena we play on, and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to the game. It's gonna be fun. Uh, and as a coach, um, do you need to uh, do you work anything extra with bringing some you know feelings uh, from the players, or do you need to calm them, calm them down more in front of a game like this? A little bit of both actually, because it's important in these kind of games that you have the right tension. You can't be over over tense because then you get stupid cards and you're not um, ready to play. But you can't be too relaxed either because then you're getting crushed. Because uh, AIK is a very physical, strong team, uh, a lot of big players, and if we are not there physically, our small pay players will get crushed. Uh, and uh, you get this derby already in the third game of the Allsvenskan. Uh, what do you feel about that? Getting a derby so so early into the season can't really change it, so that is what we're going to live with. We knew we had a, a tough start with Norsjö being uh, away and Kalm home and now AIK away. So um, we have been prepared for this for uh, quite some time since we got the program. Of course, it's always uh, nice to get uh, some of the easier opponents uh, in the beginning, but we know the season's long and we knew we are having a, a tough start. And I know we will uh, rise as a group the longer the season lasts, so um, actually it's quite good to get some of the strong opponents uh, up early. And uh, what uh, type of game do you expect on Monday? You already mentioned the strong physical uh, strength in, in AIK. What do you need to do to challenge that? We need to be good on the ball uh, and we need to step up physically because AIK is uh, have a very solid team. Uh, top three favourite, maybe the biggest contender uh, to uh, see if they can challenge Malmö of the goal this year. They look very solid. Um, so we have to, to stand up early to, to get some points on, on Monday. Uh, and uh, in front of a Stockholm Derby, it will be your first one. You have some players in the squad that have quite a lot of derbies. Uh, for example, Kennedy Bakis Joglu have made quite a few. How do you value his experience in a game like this? Of course, experience is always good. But we are looking at the football qualities and we will put down the team we believe is the strongest uh, on the day. But of course, it can never hurt you to have experience if you also have the legs and the football qualities to, uh, to back it up. Or else we will all be playing with 39-year-old uh, because experience was the only thing. You also have to run, you also have to play, you also have to uh, do a lot of other things. But experience is never a bad thing. Because uh, you took him out, Kennedy, uh, in the last game, for example. What do you say is his uh, status at the moment uh, in the team? Well, Kennedy has been a very important player for Hamburg in, in many years. The due date of Kennedy is getting closer. Everybody can, can see that and Kennedy knows that as well. Uh, and of course, uh, when you are turning 37, you can't play 90 minutes every time. Uh, your body, especially not on the central midfield. So of course we have to um, to take uh, take care of him, and he's uh, he's an important player for us. And this guy Björn Paulsen, he was the one that scored the decisive goal to save a point for you in the last game. What do you expect for, from him uh, on Monday? Uh, he's gonna do what Björn is best at. Uh, he's gonna fight and gonna battle and gonna run and hopefully um, get uh, get a goal again. Uh, in these kind of games, it's important you have the running capacity for uh, for 90 minutes, and Bjorn for sure have the running capacity for 90 minutes. Uh, and it's going to be a battle on Monday, and I'm sure that Bjorn will have a head roll in that. 
Uh, I was talking to the AIK coach uh, Rickard Noling the other day, and he uh, said that he uh, doesn't really, he's not really sure where where uh, Hammarby stands uh, this year. He doesn't really know what your ideas are, and so do you think you know his AIK better than he knows your Hammarby? My advantage is that I have seen AIK a lot and they haven't changed that much uh, even though they have brought in some new players but they're playing the same way they have been doing the, since last summer. So uh, I know them quite good but uh, Norling is also a, a good coach and knows what he's doing. So uh, I don't think that will be the, the matter uh, on, uh, on Monday. I think it's going to be a tough game. Uh, AIK is obviously the favourites, they're playing at home, they are having a, a better team and a better economy than we have right now, but we will do our level best to see if we can uh, put a stick in the wheel of AIK. And some tactical uh, changes to surprise him maybe? Yeah, that's why over 30,000 is paying for a ticket, we'll see on Monday. Okay, thank you.